The bandmate in Easy Keys 2 is a powerful feature that can quickly add piano to your existing song ideas. Here you can drag in an audio file with chords, drum MIDI, or MIDI from Easy Bass. But what do you do if you don't get your exact expected results? In this video, I'll go through the editing and customization features in the Easy Keys 2 bandmate and show you the pitfalls to avoid. Here I have an audio file with a synth loop that's going to be challenging for bandmate to understand. This file contains a lot of overlapping notes and very little attack with each chord change. Instead of going for something this ambient, it would be much better to use a file like this that has a clearer attack for its use with bandmate. It's also very important when importing an audio file to ensure that the tempo and key are correct, so knowing both of these is helpful. Here I'll change the tempo to 96 beats per minute and the key to D minor. Once imported, I'll make sure that the chord changes are in the correct place. An easy way to do this is to select a generic quarter note or eighth note pattern and listen to both the source and the easy keys playback. If any changes need to be made, you can add in chords with the Add Chord tool. I'll also trim the chord changes to the end of the eighth bar so that the file loops properly. Now all I have to do is change to the correct chord where Bandmate missed the chord changes. To do this, I'll just click on the chord that I added and make the correct choice from the chord wheel. Now that the chord changes are correct, I can search for any playing style that suits my needs. Just select a genre and click through the options in the browser. Once I've settled on a playing style that I like, I can embellish it further by changing the note amount, velocity, swing, or octave. Finally, when I'm happy with the general piano performance, I can drag my piano MIDI to the song track in Easy Keys 2. Once on the song track, I can take advantage of all the granular Easy Keys 2 editing features found in the grid editor. This is the final step, and it's where you'll go if you need to change specific single notes or fine-tune any individual velocities.